All right, guys, it's week two of the Georgia uh, hunting season. And I've had a lot of action this morning so far. Uh, I've seen a spike and four does so far. And it's only like 8.30. Uh, so they're just crossing back and forth in front of me here. Uh, I think they coming and leaving out of my food plot just up the hill here. But uh, like I said, I had some fun mess with turkeys this morning. Uh, so like I said, we got plenty of time. It's like it's only 8:30. Uh, I just want to try to get this in between the action. Uh, they moving pretty good this morning, so I'm gonna get back to hunting. And we'll talk a little bit later when everything slows down. Well, the morning is getting even crazier. Uh, like I said, I'm hunting down here in this bottom. And a guy in the hunting club, Eric, his food plot is on the other side of this uh, this ridge I'm on. And I just I heard him shoot probably 20 minutes ago, I guess. Um, and just two minutes ago I hear deer running through the woods and I'm like what's that about and he and he dives down in the um, in the creek so I'm thinking it's a buck trying to skirt around me just using the creek to uh, get around me but I get a closer look and it's a doe over there in the creek I guess uh she probably drowned over there in that creek because if he shot her and uh, that's the last place she laid down and there's water in that creek. So she's probably drowned over there. It's a lot of commotion going on but uh, my phone doesn't work too good down here in this bottom. I was going to see if I can text him and uh, see if he's missing a deer. I'm pretty sure he is. But I'm gonna see how long it takes uh, for him to either come looking for it or try to contact me. But uh, <laughs> like I said, it's, everything is it's getting better and better in here. Cause I, I believe I seen that doe just pass me. You know, it's been 35 minutes ago probably I could barely see her going on the other side of the creek walking up that way and it's probably the same though but uh, like I said it's, it's been an eventful morning so and it's getting even better uh, right now it's probably 930 so I don't know if my hunt's done for the morning or not because I know if he's looking for that deer he's walking through the woods so let me try to contact him. 
and see if he's missing a deer. I asked him, I said, by any chance are you missing a deer? So hopefully it goes through before he can text me back. Maybe his phone doesn't work down here either. <laughs> but uh, while we're waiting on him to text us back, it's been, yesterday it was like 80 degrees. This morning it's a little cooler, it's probably 60. But I got a feeling it's going to get back up to 80 degrees. It's got a chance of rain today. And I mean the deer are moving this morning, but I don't know how the afternoon hunt is going to go if it's as hot and it's raining. But uh, like I said, I'm happy with the deer's moving this morning, but just waiting on that big boy to come by. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to wait and see if he texts me back. If not, either way, we're going to go over there and look at that deer that's in that creek before we leave here. So.
Alright guys, it's getting crazy this morning. I mean, things are happening right after each other. Alright, the last time I left you guys, uh, we was trying to get Eric to text me back about that deer he shot that fell down in the creek down here. Uh, he finally texted me back and said, now he said he's still looking. I said, don't worry about it. I know where the deer at. Just come down the hill. But I'm just standing up here, just looking behind my stand. Y'all don't watch behind my stand much, but I noticed something walking down in the creek. A little cut here. It's just like a runoff little ridge. It's a bobcat running through the, through the little uh, cut thing right there. And I'm trying to get my camera but he's walking, looking, walk about another two, three feet, look. So I had to wait till he got past me. I turned my camera around. That's when I got the uh, bobcat on it. But the bobcat is going over there to the deer that's in the creek. I'm trying to look on my phone and see if I can shoot the bobcat, which I know it's like a season to be able to shoot the bobcat, but I think it's already started, but I want to be for sure before... I shoot the thing in the game ward and walk down the, down the road. So, make a long story short, I didn't shoot the bobcat because my phone wouldn't pick up enough to search on the internet. So the bobcat is doing his thing, and I happen to notice another deer. Another deer. The spike was coming down the same path that the bobcat just did. So I turned the camera around to look at the spike and the spike walked right up under my stand and curve around and go looks at the deer that's over there in the creek so right now I'm giggling to myself like that deer must have meant a lot to a lot of people because everybody's going over there to check on it and that spike stayed over there for about i say a good 10 minutes looking at the deer trying to figure out how to help the deer he was on this side of the creek he would jump on the other side of the creek he walked around and looked and he just couldn't do anything for the deer so and you know it's it's not even 10 30 yet but i'm gonna get down uh, i think eric's on the way over here uh to see if we can go see what's going on with this deer in this creek Right there in that di ditch. <laughs> you gut shot her. I can see the shit. Oh, you saw it coming here. Yeah, my, my stand right there. Oh, I think you heard him coming in. I mean, about 20 minutes after he shot, though. Damn. Damn. Oh, I thought, I thought that was a, the, you know, some. That's some way back. Oh, that ain't hell. Are there flies on it? Yeah. A big pile of them. You ain't got no rope. Like I said, you, you, you must have killed a, a, a celebrity deer because it's oh. been many things come check on this deer already. Them babies? Bobcat came by and checked <laughs> on him. And a spike came back and checked on him. He didn't want to leave. He was like, dang, baby, I wish I could help you. Right. Ain't nothing I can do for you. I mean, he... He walked around, he jumped over here, walked around and looked at like, dang, boy, he's like, I could tell he was thinking like, dang, I wish I could help you, but I can't do nothing for you. Oh, <laughs> Bobcat came, where'd Bobcat come from, which way? Bobcat came from the hill up there. And the deer come right behind the Bobcat, not even five minutes later, same path. The, the spike? Oh, yeah. Why didn't you shoot the Bobcat? I didn't know if it was Bobcat season. Oh, and my phone went, I was sitting there trying to look at my phone to try to get it to, to Google, but it wasn't Google. I was like, I can't take that chance. 
Normally, it's Bobcats when hunting season starts, it's all real, but, yeah, but it's real close I wanted to make sure. Yeah. That deer ran straight down, so she turned and come straight, straight down Because I thought it was a big buck trying to come past me in this creek. Yeah. It's splashing that creek, but I jumped up. I was like, okay. Yeah. And then I seen it go down, like, oh. I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's a, <laughs> that must be what. Oh, that ingenuity. Check that guy out. Oh, he a good deal giver now. <laughs> he, he done pulled out plenty of deal down here in his bottom. Oh, he's huge. He's a good side, though. It's enough. Well, well. Well, I do appreciate the info. Because <laughs> I'm going weed him. Mike, when you saw it, was she struggling? Yeah, she, like like I said, I heard it when she crashed in the, in the thing. And I turned around like, what the hell is Where that? you at? You see my stand over there on that tree just... Oh, yeah. this farther oh, this so way. Yeah, you just I one you. over there when I first started hunting. Yeah, and I, when I turned around, she was splashing that creek. Then she thought, uh oh, like she drowned. <laughs> that's, she like, that's what it looked like. I, I mean, I, I turned my camera around looking at it. That's why we couldn't find blood in the Yeah, she exactly. Well, let's throw it on. It's clogged up. Yeah. I thought that'd save I'm you some. You that's now, that's luck right there. I you thought it'd save you some time. <laughs> Yeah, I know you had something to do today, so I wanted to cut your your search time in half. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, really. One, two, three. Let's get that again. Get back. Yeah, One, two, three. Don't sling deer poop splash on me out there. <laughs> yeah, it's good, though. Like I said, she must be a celebrity because some everybody checked her. All right, guys, we're going to call it. It's getting close to 10 o'clock. I haven't seen anything, haven't heard anything but a couple of woodpeckers. So, and I did check on that, uh, the state regulations about the bobcat. And thank God I didn't shoot that bobcat yesterday because uh, bobcat season opened up December the 1st through February 28th. So... I would have been violating the law if I would have shot that uh, bobcat yesterday. But other than that, guys, uh, we did have an uh, eventful day yesterday, so we can't be mad. This, you know, it's been kind of slow uh, with seeing any big bucks this weekend, but uh, this rut hadn't started. Uh, I believe uh, today's the 24th uh, of October, so. That next weekend and the weekend after that, definitely look for the rutting activity to really pick up. So uh, we're going to do some hard hunting next weekend and the weekend after. So hopefully we can get that big boy and and um, have something else to put on the wall. But other than that, guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to get to the house, maybe catch me a football game or something before uh, the day winds down. So... Alright guys, make sure you subscribe if you hadn't, and to the next video, we out. Thanks for watching.